Last question of the homework is a bonus question. It's a bonus question, and it's clear from this question I don't give away bonus marks easily because this is a very difficult problem. Um, you shouldn't be too disappointed if you if you can't do this problem, or what if it's baffling. Uh, it's just simply not a very easy problem, and uh, that's why it's a bonus problem. So it says, at least my problem says, it's, it's a half a kilogram ball. So it's a ball here rolling down a hill. That it's half kilogram is irrelevant. We've already seen in class that heavy objects and light objects fall at the same, with the same acceleration due to gravity. So this uh, it, it's irrelevant how heavy it is. So we'll just, a ball starts from rest. Now, so here it is. I'm going to call this uh, position zero. I'm going to call this position zero here. Starts from rest. So velocity naught is equal to zero. X naught is equal to zero. So those are the first two facts of, of our problem. And it rolls down a hill with uniform acceleration. The acceleration is a constant. That's what uniform means, constant. But we don't know what that is. And it's in, on my problem, it says it travels 150 meters during the second 10 seconds of its motion. Now, that's very particular language. During this, so after a while, so this is also t naught is zero. Here I'll start the clock at zero. So after 10 seconds, the ball must be somewhere else, which is here. And during the second 10 sec seconds, it rolls 150 meters. So if I call this position position one, and this position, position 2, I know that delta x here is 150 meters. Those two positions are 150 meters apart. That's how far it rolled in the second 10 seconds. So t1 is equal to 10 seconds, and t2 is equal to 20 seconds. And so delta t here, between these two positions, is also 10 seconds. So in the second 10 seconds, it rolled 150 meters. And then now, it, so it's given us these facts, how the ball starts, and what it does somewhere down the hill. And then it asks us a question, it's seemingly... Uh, unrelated and seemingly simple, how far did it roll during the first four seconds? So at, uh, between 10 seconds and 0 seconds, it must have rolled to some point in between. This is at uh, t equals, in my question, 4 seconds. And then they're also asking, what is this distance here? What's this delta x in here? And that's the real question, is what's this delta x? Well, in order for us to have ever answered this, we'd have to know how, how far an object rolls with a constant acceleration given a time. The kinematic equation that connects those ideas is x final is equal to x initial plus velocity initial delta t plus one-half a delta t squared. So if we're ever going to answer how far it rolls, and by the way, x final, x final is, is here, uh, x initial is zero, so this, this, uh, this distance we're looking for, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it x final here. And, and, and re and 
say our, our, we really want to know this position, it is essentially delta x. If you x final, if I bring the x initial over, that is delta x. But x initial is 0 anyway. So the question that I want, uh, where is the ball? It starts at 0. It rolls. Its initial velocity is 0. It rolls for, in my question, set, uh, 4 seconds. But that doesn't matter because that's 0. Uh, the acceleration we don't know, and this time is 4 seconds. And that's squared. So I don't know my final position, but I do know that if it did have a constant acceleration, and it did start at 0, and it did start at rest, that it, it I know where it is. It's at 1 half 16 seconds squared A, where A is an unknown acceleration. So the real question is, what's this acceleration? It's asking us what's this position, but we can't find this position until we find this little acceleration here. We started at zero, we started at rest, but we need this acceleration, and to find the acceleration is the real question for this problem.